Ta-da! Look at this, guys. Haha. <laughs> the magic of movies. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you're probably wondering what's going on because last we left you guys with was the axles were just built and none of this was on. The knuckles, none of the links, nothing was done there. Um, the transmission's all done. Shocks are done. Battery box turn servos done. So what happened, long story short, I went to back up my phone because I was using it for video because my camera was making lens noises and I didn't like that in my videos so now I actually have a lavier mic and I have one I can hang from the ceiling or have one that's actually on me and that's what I have on right now um, so the sound quality is a whole lot better and I'm back to using my Nikon D5300 so anyway so when I was back my phone was getting full storage backed it up on the Google uh, Photos I thought everything was backed up, so I went and deleted everything off my phone, and here some of my very good videos that I needed were on that phone and deleted, which was all of this, the linkage, the shocks, the battery box, and the whole transmission build and the drive shafts. So I apologize. It's my mistake. Um, basically, what I want to do is just go over a couple things real quick with you just to kind of just hit some pointers. Um, the shock's pretty easy. There's all kinds of videos out there on these. I did the, the Traxxas uh, mod on the shocks. They're, they run real nice and smooth. Um, so if you look up uh, shock mod, SDX-10-2 ion shock mod, it'll be there. A um, couple good videos on it. I can't remember the guys' names, but they're real good. Um, Transmission-wise, the biggest thing on transmission-wise is when you go to build this, make sure you have the right bearings in the right spot, okay? Alex and I built it. We put it together, and the shafts were real wobbly. We wasn't sure what's going on. Turns out we put some of the wrong bearings in it, so we had to tear it back apart, put it back together. Make sure you put plenty of grease in the transfer case and the transmission itself. Nothing in here where the spur gear is or the motor. No grease in there. Your slipper clutch is in there. No grease there, but transmission, the transfer case plenty of grease don't don't be don't pack it full but be liberal with it you know you don't want you want that to be nice and we use the I'm not a you know I don't sponsor these guys they don't sponsor me but this I just use Lucas marine grease um, that'll last forever okay so that's what I use so anyway so yeah so and the links as far as that goes just watch all your directions and these little uh, these little things right here, make sure you have those going on the right sides that can go in this side or that side, but like, just make sure you're, you're watching which sides go in. Like I said, guys, I apologize. You know, this is Alex and I's first time doing this. Alex is here too. He's hiding, the, hiding in the background, I kinda. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so that's basically where we're at with that. Um, our next step is when I actually start attaching the frame rails to the battery box. So, you know, I'm sure I'll get a bunch of comments, you know, whatever. But, I mean, you know, it happens. So, like I said, I'm sorry. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos so far that I put out there. Um, we're just doing this for fun um, and hoping to give you guys some pointers and whatnot. And then when we get all these built, we're going to do some trail videos and, you know, whatever. So, uh, all right, guys. So I just want to let you know where we're at here. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, later.